In sports today, is actor Will Ferrell about to be signed to the San Francisco Giants? And the slumping Toronto Raptors take on the Miami Heat at home. Here's Christina Succi with the details and the rest of your sports news. Thank you, Casey. A big game for Canada last night as the Montreal Canadiens took on the Ottawa Senators. Sens virtually out of the playoffs looking to capitalize on the top conference halves, who are actually coming into this one with only one win in the last five. First period, P.K. Subban fires the one-timer. Max Pacioretty, perfect position in front, tips it in past Andrew Hammond. Just like that, one nothing halves. Couple minutes later, Pacioretty on the fast break roofs it for his second in the frame. But that would be as much action as we saw from them. Habs blow their early lead. Now we're tied at twos in the three and Mark Stone redirects it past Carey Price. That's Ottawa's third unanswered goal. They'd go on to pot two more. Suns take it 5-3. Now some more Canadian puck action. Winnipeg Jets taking on the Florida Panthers. Jets are hungry, looking for that final wildcard spot in the West. First period, Derek McKenzie chases the pass, dives and redirects past Michael Hutchinson. That's just a great effort. one nothing Panthers early. Second period, Mark Shifley catches Dan Ellis sleeping, just blows it by him for the equalizer. That ties it at twos. Late in the third, Alexander Barkov rings it off the metal and in for the game winner. Add an empty netter to it, Panthers win 4-2. Now let's flip to the Toronto Raptors and all that's going on in Dino Land. It's not looking pretty for the Raptors, especially as they set up to take on former Raptor Chris Bosh and the Miami Heat tonight at the ACC. Raptor has been struggling as of late with nine losses in the last 10, recently falling to defending champs of Spurs in San Antonio. Miami now has won 16 straight meetings. That's its longest winning streak against any opponent. Now, although they are slipping in the standings, they won't lose their playoff spot, but if they want to contend in the playoffs, a more consistent effort is needed all around. And finally, funny man Will Ferrell got serious when he suited up for 10 Major League Baseball teams yesterday during spring training in Arizona. But to all you fans, don't worry, it's not a career change. The actor spent the day jetting around Cactus League playing every position on the diamond for a new HBO special from Funny or Die to raise money for charity for cancer survivors. The Giants, the Oakland A's, and the Padres are just a few of the jerseys he donned while sporting the number 19 for each game. Farrell told his ESPN the event was expected to raise close to a million dollars. Now with a look of what Mother Nature has in store, here's Abita Donji. Thanks, Christina. The temperatures are finally getting better and we've got a warmer than usual weekend ahead of us. Today we have a high of 5 and a low of 0. Tomorrow we'll have a chance of showers with a high of 8 and a low of 2. Sunday we'll have a mix of sun and cloud with a high of 6 and a low of minus 1. That's your three-day forecast. Now back to you, Casey. Thanks, Abita. We leave you today with this. Rare pictures of a giant panda in the wild. This guy was caught wandering in a mountainous area in southwestern China. Experts say he seems to be a middle-aged, probably more than 10 years old. The pictures were shot by a local employee on his way to work. The mountain is one of the main habitats of the panda, considered an endangered species. That's all for today. For details of these stories and more, check out humbernews.ca. Humber News is produced by students in the journalism program at the North Campus. I'm Casey Taylor. Have a great weekend.